Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use pivot table to analyze the data which we have extracted from a notepad file while doing bank audit. In our previous video, what we have seen is how we can, you know, uh, take a notepad file or a txt file from, uh, you know, various uh, CBS system or a Finacle system, and then uh, we are converting that into an Excel database. And assuming that if you have this Excel file, uh, you know, which uh, which covers, uh, you know, your customer name, your account number, your limits, your drawing power, as well as your outstanding amount as on date with the classification of assets, how how can you analyze this by using pivot table? Because if you use, if there are, you know, uh, 10,000 plus accounts, you want a consolidated report uh, in a flick of a second so that you can exactly go to the account where you want to review. Let's assume that if we want to know in our case study today that show me the accounts which are having outstanding more than the drawing power and I want to see that by different category of assets and by the years how can we do that in maximum 10 seconds. Let's start doing this. So let's say we want to do, uh, you know, uh, we want to know the account number or the account which has outstanding more than the drawing power. So let's create a column called outstanding greater than DP. And let's use a small formula which says equals to this greater than DP because this is my outstanding amount and this is my uh, drawing power. Enter. That's true. And if I want to, uh, you know, uh, copy this uh, for the entire data, all I have to do is I have say Control Shift, copy, and then I'll say Control Shift End. It takes me down, and I'll use Control V. Uh, this brings up all the all the data which are, you know, either greater than the drawing power or less than the drawing power. Now I have this data. I want to convert that into a pivot table. So I have to select this entire table to do that. I have two ways to do it. Either I can use Control A to select the entire table, but make sure that there is no blank rows in between. Or the best way is we can use Control Shift Right, Control Shift Down. This selects my entire table, and then I need to insert pivot table for it. So we have to go into Insert Pivot Table. Now this brings a dialog box which says uh, the table and it opens into a new worksheet. This is the best way to do it. It's more simpler and easier. In the future, a video will show you how we can use the existing worksheet or you can use an external data source as well. Hit OK. It opens a new sheet automatically, which is a, 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 a dashboard for the pivot table. On the right hand side, you can see all the columns uh, in the right with report filters, your column labels, your values and your row labels. We can easily uh, take any of these columns and use drag and drop, but let's create an interface for that. To do that, there's one more way called a classic uh, layout. To bring that options, we have to go over here and hit right click, pivot table options, display and classic pivot table. Hit OK. You see this box over here. Now all we need to do is that just uh, play with this uh, entire dashboard the way we want and the report gets updated automatically for the table which has the source behind it which is the excel which we had just created. So right now we want to know the account number which has outstanding greater than uh, DP. So we pull this and we bring it over here. You see over here you have false and true. Now if I would want to know how many number of accounts shows uh, show me the number of account which is false which means which is true which means which has outstanding more than the drawing power if the number comes to zero we are good but let's see Ooh, we see over here out of 3808 wait a minute this is sum so we have to get into account to do that right click summarize values by count we have to do that and this shows me that out of these 88 accounts, four accounts are there where the outstanding is more than the drawing power. If I want to double click that, I can simply double click and I can see easily all those account number, the customer name, 
where the outstanding amount so instead of reviewing those 88 accounts in a very quick way we can see that there are four accounts where the outstanding is greater than the drawing power there are more things to do over here let's let's go further now if you see i want to know it by years if i want to know that okay show me the number years uh, where this account is true so i need to pull this year and to do that i need to call this end date we call this end date and i pull it back into my row label you see all the dates comes in over here by the account number when the account was ended and i need to group this date so that i can call in the years i group it and instead of months i call it years i can even make it by quarters as well if you see over here i can see all the years so this uh, account was on 2012 2015 and 2018 and if i also want to further categorize by the asset classifications all i need to do is that i take this asset and put it into my columns now to get this report manually will take you you know several hours but through pivot table you can get it done maybe in maximum 5 or 10 seconds you can you know play with this the way you want you know you can uh, review the outstanding you can review the drawing power the customer name and if you double click any of these data if you want to know okay show me uh, you know these eight accounts or show me these uh, four accounts or these 2018 accounts you can always double click that this is the very important use of pivot table while analyzing bank audit thank you and stay tuned